Hello everybody, the Hardy here. Today I'm gonna show you how to increase your FPS in 7 days to die. Before we begin I wanna share with you my other videos. I make videos about different video games, such as how to increase your FPS, how to play with your friends and how to create a dedicated server. 7 days to die is no exception. Finally, let's increase our FPS. Yeah. We will boost your FPS in two steps. The first one is Windows optimization. The second one is optimization in the game itself. If you are using a different operation system, go to this time code. The first thing I recommend is to turn on the game mode. And for the capture, I recommend to turn off the background recording and recorded audio. We also need to turn off Xbox Game Bar. We also need to open up the graphic settings. And if you have an Nvidia video card, 1000 series or upper, and it'll give you a little boost. You should restart your computer to apply it. And make sure that you have the latest version of the drivers for your video card. You also can turn on the high performance mode in power options, but it may use more energy. Yeah. Alright, we are ready to set up our game. In the display section you can resize the resolution. If the resolution is low, your FPS will be more higher. But I don't like the small resolution. You need to turn off the dynamic resolution mode and vSync. Field of view is a very important option. It uses a big amount of resources of your computer. If you don't want to have a too narrow field of view, you can decrease this option. Just play with this option after all optimization. After that for the quality. Quality preset I just put this one at custom. If you feel that your game is blurry, you need to turn off the anti-aliasing. The next three options really depend on VRAM on your video card. If you have 6 gig or more, you can just maximize all of these settings. If you have 4 gig or less, you can just lower it and follow your VRAM on your video card. You need to turn off next options and water quality you can set at high. It doesn't take so many FPS. You can play with particles, it depends on your computer. View distance I recommend to set at medium. Object distance really depends on your computer, so just play with this value. Terrain quality, there is no difference between lowest, low and medium, so I recommend to set it at medium. Grass distance, you won't see a big difference between lowest and low, so I'll set it just as low. Object quality, there is no big difference between medium and low, so I set it at medium. Occlusion, if you have a bad CPU, just set it at off. If you have a CPU like i5 or i7, it will be ok with occlusion at on and other options you can turn off. The final step dynamic mesh options. Dynamic mesh enabled set at no and after it just copy my settings. There is all for this video. You can see my other videos about 7 days to die and many different games. Subscribe and goodbye.